Hello, um, this is the my new Acer Chromebook. These are the ones that are going for $159.99 in eBay plus tax. They have free shipping. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and put a new memory in. And as you notice, the only tools that I need is the memory stick and my screwdriver. If you notice, the memory is a two gig memory, so I'm only going from two gigs to four gigs. You know, I got this memory from my brother, so, you know, got to go with what's free, you know? Um, just to say, these are the refurbished ones, um, but, you know, they are directly refurbished by Acer. So that's a plus, I guess, and they do have their limited warranty on them. Thing we're going to do, no, first, if your computer's on, I'll power it off. After that, you're going to see a little hatchet here that you would pull to the right side, see how it does. And at the same time, go ahead and pull out the battery. I'm gonna see if I could do this with one handed. Okay, I'm unable to do it. You notice now I got it loose. Just keep taking it out. Once you do that, what you want to do is see here, there's a seal for warranty. I went ahead and avoided my own warranty. So do this at your own risk. Some people say that when it's only memory, you don't have to worry about the warranty because you can always upgrade the memory unless you're touching the motherboard processor and stuff like that. But you know, remember all this is done at your own risk. So what you want to do now is you want to make pressure on the sides so you could take off the, the hatchet. The only thing you got to do is just slide it from where you see the battery. You're going to slide it down. Basically is all you have to do. Once you do that, Put it to the side. You can notice that it already comes with one memory. This is the one slot. And I notice now that this would be the second slot where the second memory would go. Basically, what you do is look at the pins that they match. Okay, so I see the hole there and the hole there. So it looks like one goes upside down and one goes up. Um, forward look at looking up I guess okay so what you would do is just slide it in gently see how it went in okay and then you slightly give it a push down and you'll see how it clicks that's it we're upgraded from 2 gigs to 4 gigs now where we're going to do the same process again with the hatchet with the door or whatever you want to call it the cover same thing you see the space there so that means the only thing i have to do is just push it back again i'm going to try to do this with one hand see i got it there notice it has a, a little line there you can hold it from there and just push it once you notice is firm in all spots. Okay, we could go back to the screw. It's a little screw. I'm trying to do this with one handed. Okay, get your screwdriver. Okay, tighten that. Okay, you don't want to do too much pressure on it. Once once you feel it doesn't go no more, that should be enough. You don't want to over tight it, tighten it. Um, you want you don't want to mess up the threads. Or next time you do have to take it out, make a replacement or upgrade it or anything. And talking about that, this is the one with the 320 gig hard drive. So. You know, it could be that in the future you do want to change it to a solid state drive. 
or you never know a um, hard drive could go bad that's why i got this one because i think that if my hard drive goes bad you know and, and i'm able to upgrade it you know just stay with this one you know why pay the extra 50 70 dollars okay one moment as you notice it did boot up now i'm going to go ahead and put my password what you do is you go to your browser or you can see it you would type chrome colon I guess four slash four slash system okay you know one important thing is that you do notice that your computer did go up if you were to put it you know incorrectly or the memory not working it would not boot up so that is a plus okay we're just now waiting I guess the the PC is just trying to figure out all the information that it has okay, let's give it a few seconds because it, it is the first time going to the system and I guess recounting the memory the new countage which will verify now it did take a long time but that should not be a worry the important thing is that everything's done and as you notice four gigs we do have now okay it's been a pleasure any questions um just feel free to ask okay thank you i'll have more videos later on on the chromebook i right, have a good day